When we think of the heart, we often think of something that is tender and is simple and has uh, really no major intelligence. It's just a place of feeling. It turns out that if you uh, follow the signals uh, from the brain to the heart or the heart to the brain, the heart is sending way more signals to the brain than the brain is to the heart. And the heart also, when uh, doing studies of uh, prediction, can tell in advance what's coming much better than the brain can. The reason for all of this is that the heart is primary. The heart is primary and the brain, which we have made into a god in our society, is secondary. so we listen to the heart and we learn from the heart. It is the heart that can make us wise. This is true spirituality. Coming to your heart, being in your heart and knowing what's happening inside you because of the feelings and the experiences you're having directly in your own heart. This, he said, this is the true spirituality. And it links up very well with what is, uh, what heart math has been saying. It's essentially that when you delve into your heart, you, you find deeper wisdom much more wisdom in the heart than in the brain. When you pay attention to this heart and you bring your mind to a sense of calm because the heart has now become the dominant expressor and the, what, what tells the mind to be agitated or, or calm is really the heart. So you have the heart telling the mind to quiet. And as the mind quiets, then your ability to see beyond thoughts into direct experience of reality yes, that the changes. true power to change your world was in this extended state of awareness and this attitude of gratitude in that moment was was strong enough to affect the world around it. that it wasn't about doing more it was really about holding attention holding awareness at the widest angle possible and then what you see feel and think in that moment that is what the world will send back to you now if you think about the heart the heart is the part of us that is in the center that is connected to this network this field rather that is extended everywhere and it is a node of knowing and experiencing and relating and sending and receiving information. This node, which is the heart that has been with us since we were born or conceived really, this heart is what is, sends its signal out because it is not identified just with you, but is identified with everything. This heart, which has not taken on a, such a strong egoic state, this heart connects out as far as you can see and is the messenger, both from the universe and to the universe, of what needs to happen, what would be your heart's the heart. desire. When we get down into this place, then we're beginning to feel the whole field of awareness and in that whole field of awareness that's where true creativity where miracles happen where connectivity happens where you get information that you don't know where you got it from and one of the ways the universe will speak to you is through this idea of synchronicity is that your heart may ask us to do things that we don't know that we're ready to do it may seem out of place, might seem odd that we, we would be asked to do whatever it is. It could be something we've always wanted to do. It could be our heart's desire, but our brain has said, oh no, be cautious, be careful, don't do that. You know, people will think you're weird or you might lose money or, or it's just frightening or I don't know how to do that. But if your heart asks you to do it and it, it's, and if it is a risky proposition, don't just ask once, ask several times. See what other signs you get. See if the world, through its synchronized way of sending information to you, if it could not give you a These message. These things 
will happen to you when you are in your heart you will be alive and this idea that you can go to your heart as a sanctuary away from the troubles of the world is probably mistaken rather than being away from the troubles of the world you will be a resource for the troubles what of the world. spirituality is is not a way of bypassing life's difficulty but a, about deepening about connecting, about being wise, about having the full experience of being a human being and the full experience of being connected with the divine. This is spirituality. As we explore the heart, I think we will find that we have suffering we have not experienced, we have love we have not uh, fully experienced either. And as we go deeper into it, I think the world will become richer, not poorer. We will become more human, more accessible, more compassionate. Actually, you probably will be funnier too. Who knows? It's all in there. It's packed in there. We need to let this incredible, connected, deeply wise, infinitely loving aspect of ourselves be the guide of our lives. We need to let that which knows more than we do, that which is connected to your soul, that is connected to the universe, that part, let it lead.